We often talk here about the private sector space race that's going on in the U.S., led by companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. But a number of startups are also going on in China. Yunus Yun is in Beijing for us tonight. The U.S.-China tech war isn't only limited to planet Earth. China wants to become a leader in the final frontier, too. It was only a couple of years ago, around when Beijing unveiled its Made in China 2025 tech development program, the government introduced a new policy to encourage more private investment in space activities, a realm that is largely dominated by the military. That sparked a wave of space startups like the one I'm at now. This is Link Space. The company's founders like to say they're creating a link to space, and their focus is building a reunion usable rocket that can travel to space multiple times to bring the cost of space flight down. So far, they have carried out two tests for a suborbital rocket, which they believe will be commercially available as early as next year. They also hope to unveil a rocket that can reach orbit, pitting them against established players like SpaceX. This is what the CEO told me. Our two recent tests filled a void for us and for China. As everyone knows, only a few U.S. firms, including SpaceX and Blue Origin, are working on reusable rockets. But we think the potential is huge. The ultimate plan would be to launch shoebox-sized satellites, the way SpaceX and other American rivals can, creating constellations of satellites to boost communications on Earth for the Internet of Things. And with the government support, China now has more than 100 startups in this field. They get access to state labs, use of the launch pads for a fee, and can swap research with the military. Despite the government policies, Linkspace says that it doesn't get funding directly from the government. It does get some government projects, but says that most of its money is from private VCs. For Nightly Business Reports, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing.